to there and now to the bottom so if you've got a mirrorless camera like you know sony alpha series cameras then you've probably noticed that the sensor is really 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 close to you know the mount and there is no mirror in there and it's very very easy to get dust in there i've I've been always very, very, very precious about the sensor and always thinking, I don't want to touch it. I'm, I'm changing my lenses, always upside down like that, putting a new lens on so that nothing would fall onto the sensor. But nevertheless, some dust and stuff still gets into the sensor and time to time I need to clean the sensor. And I thought, you know, I'm not capable of cleaning my sensor and I'm gonna need to send it away and spend a lot of money. But then there was a time where I had to get my sensor cleaned today because there was a shoot tomorrow and there was no time for doing it. So then I quickly uh, looked online and did some research. How do you clean your own sensor? Can you do it? And you actually can. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can clean your camera sensors and do it yourself and save some money. So basically, what I'm using to clean my sensor are these baby wipes. Actually, no, uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm using these for. But I'm actually, for the sensor, I'm using these uh, full frame DSLR sensor cleaning kit. These wipes, basically, or like swabs, however you wanna call them. There's like some liquid inside and these swabs. So if you wanna check that out, the link is in the description. It's very cheap, around 20 pounds, and then you get 12 uh, swabs with it which means you can clean your cell sensor for 12, uh, 12 times. A very, very you know good price for it. Uh, I've got my other sensors in here as well and I'm going on a trip, so I thought I might as well just clean all the lenses and stuff as well, you know, get it prepared. There's actually quite a bit of dust around the mount. So this is just a, you know, half little bit wet wipe. And then you can see it's all white at the moment. But when I'm just wiping around this mount now watch this see that it's black because there's some sometimes there's just some stuff that gets you know stuck around the mount so it's good to clean the mount time to time as well if you can okay that lens mount is clean so basically this is good to be used now i'm gonna take the next one and by the way i'm not doing this on the electrical pins I'm actually doing it just on the metal mount and the baby wipes aren't the best things to use actually for it. There's like special uh, like Carl size wipes that you can get really cheap, but I don't have them at the moment. So babies, baby wipes will do very well as well. So I can see that there's some, uh, I've got one clean swab, swab over here as well. I can see that there's some dust on the inside of the, behind the glass over here. So I'm just gonna swab them up. That's it and put the cover back. It's a bit annoying with the Sony sensors or, or Sony lenses because the Sony lenses, lenses have like this bit in the back here uh, that's just like empty inside, which means loads of dust gets inside it there. And even if you think it's clean, you shake the lens around a little bit and then some dust gets inside the lens. Whereas on Canon lenses, for example, the glass is literally just, as soon as you take it off, the glass is there, which means when you wipe it clean, it's all just clean and there's no stuff gets inside, but for the Sony mirrorless camera, uh, FE or E mount lenses, there's just a lot of stuff can get inside, which is a bit annoying, but it's just annoying. Now let's do this one as well. Now we're gonna do the same with the lens on this camera and, and also the mount that's on the camera. But for that, I'm gonna get you closer, a bit of a closer angle so you can see what I'm doing basically. Usually I would use two angles, but you know, the other camera's here, the other camera's here, so I can only show you one angle. One second, I'll just move you to a better angle. So here we are, a bit of a closer angle now over here. I'm going to do the camera first and then the lens second. So just gonna take the lens off, put it this way. And then now we have the camera over here, as you can see there is the sensor over there. So now when you're doing it with the wipe, just be very careful, don't make it too wet and then carefully just wipe the, wipe the mount over here. That's it, just getting the dust off. If your camera is like this, it's not ideal to have the camera in that position. So I would get the lens cleaning done as quickly as possible. 
So I'm gonna get one swab. This is just the liquid that comes with it. So basically what you're gonna do is, okay, I can see there's already stuff being dropped over there. So I need to do it fast. So open up this liquid little bottle. You're gonna have to put one drop on each side of the swab. So what you do is you open this up, get the swab out, it's been in vacuum, and then drop one, drop on one side, and then one on the other side. That's it, literally nothing else. And now what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna put you a bit closer so you can see. So you just swipe on the sensor from the top to there and now to the bottom all the way there and then take it out the sensor is clean that's all you need to do now get a lens and put it on boom as soon as you've wiped it from like top of the sensor to the right or left to the right and then go to the bottom and then go back with the other side of the swab exactly the same way and boom you're done swap the camera quickly around the other way and your sensor is clean look at this the swab is pretty much clean i just touched the lens mount that's why it's black over there but look i'm just gonna wipe the lens mouth and then you, i mean mount then you can see what's how much muck there is just going in the corner over there oh my word Watch this. Can you see? Look at the swab. It's absolutely dusty and mucky ass. So, and now this lens is done as well. And this is how I clean my sensors. Now I know that this is a clean sensor now and it's, it's all ready to go. There's no weird stuff on the sensor when I'm taking photos or video. But they also say that um, you should do it in a very dust-free environment or room if you can have it, as if you don't know how you can create that kind of environment, then they reckon the best thing to do is go to your bathroom, let a really hot shower run for a few minutes, turn the shower off, close the door so that all the mist and and like steam in the air can just drop down and cool down which means all the little dust particles get stuck on that mist and then they go on the floor and then you'll do it in that environment just get a little table or something in there if you've got a big, big bathroom if you can do that that's like the best environment obviously i can't do it really in my bathroom so i'm just doing it quickly in my office over here i know it's not perfectly in a dust free environment but this is the best what you can do so yeah, I was using these lens swipes over here. As you can see, I've got few left over here um, and the liquid and everything. So this is this is very good, cheap way how you can clean your sensor and save some money for yourself. I do have made another video on how to clean your sensors and things like that early on my channel. So you can uh, click over there, over there and just find the video or in the link in the description. And just remember guys, um, I'll link these in the description as well, uh, where you can buy them and, you know, if you can, don't use the baby wipes because they're not ideal. Sometimes they can be a bit too wet, but I knew that this was um, not too wet actually because it, it had been left out a little bit, which means that the one half of it is dry and half of it is actually wet, so they kind of make a perfect mixture. They're not ideal, so I'm going to link the uh, Zeiss wipes in the description as well, you, where you can find them. And basically, clean your mirrorless camera sensors. Just make sure that you buy the right size swaps. So for example, if you have a full frame camera, buy the full frame swaps. You know, these are 24 millimeters uh, wide, which means you go on top of the sensor, turn it around and then go on the bottom of the sensor and swipe back and boom, you're done. Uh, so if you've got obviously smaller sensor, APS-C size or micro four thirds, then these swipes will be much smaller. So just make sure you buy the right size uh, swipes. I'll link them in the description for you so it's a bit easier for you. But anyway, thanks very much guys for watching. I hope this was helpful for you and you can save some money next time cleaning your camera sensors yourself. If you're new here, consider subscribing because more content like this is coming out every single week. Now, if you wanna be on the 
notification squad that hit that bell icon so you're not missing any videos if you have any other questions i'm gonna meet you in the comment section below thanks very much guys for watching i'll see you very soon next week cheers bye